Welcome back to Beauty Therapy with Gen X. My name is Jennifer Massad and I am your beauty therapist. Today's tip of the week is all about foundation. Which foundations to get? Powder versus cream versus liquid. So this is again my personal opinion. Do with it as you please. I am highly researched and accurate, but I'm not always right. So that being said, Liquid foundation is my number one go-to no matter what. Um, in my personal life, um, even in my professional life. So I am, I'll tell you my favorite foundation. Um, I've worn it for years. It doesn't unfortunately, um, and I think it should, come in enough color range. Uh, but like all of us, you have to find what works for you. And my, one of my favorites is um, Double Wear from Estee Lauder. Um, I've worn it for years. It's a liquid foundation and I'm not here to promote the product. It's just what I wear. So I like liquid foundation y'all on most skin because it looks like skin. I use powder where I need it and I use it sparingly depending on where I put it. Uh, but nine times out of 10 powder just looks dry and you are a living canvas. So I like something that moves with you and breathes as you are a living, breathing canvas. So huge fan of long wearing liquid foundations. Um, also in my professional life, I will wear um, a liquid foundation like Double Wear. Um, and I'm also um, a huge fan of certain cream foundations, very professionally made cream foundations. If you have drier skin or if you're on a prescription, um, that unfortunately a lot of prescriptions in today's world will dry your skin out as well. A cream is a really good option as opposed to a long wearing liquid. But overall, number one pick is liquid foundation. Second would be cream foundations. Um, third would be powder. Powder is my least favorite. So there you have it guys. That's your tip of the week. As always, I like to do a little food for thought and feel free to always comment. Let me know. I want to hear your thoughts on wisdom too. This is an open conversation. Okay, guys, uh, this quote is an Icelandic proverb. A wise man changes his mind. A fool never will. So think about that one. If I'm not willing to question my belief system, I'm not really flexible. And if I'm not flexible in my own life, how in the heck am I flexible with everyone else and lord knows we need all a little more grace in today's world but i like the idea of my beliefs maturing as i hopefully mature too anyway that's it for this week guys thanks for tuning in remember be you be true and love what you do and i'll see you next time bye